Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365. And in this session, we will discuss about one of important topic, uh, uh, Azure Active Directory. So I hope you all of you are aware from the Azure Active Directory. So today I'm going to show you entire step and entire prerequisite that can help us to uh, synchronize our on-premises Active Directory user to Office 365 portal. Right. In last session, we discussed about the basic features which is available in Azure AD. Like uh, with the help of Azure Active Directory, we are able to synchronize, uh, we are able to configure multi-factor authentication and uh, we are able to perform the task of SSPR or adding custom domain. So these all are topics that we have already completed. Now I'm just going to move ourselves to next step. So next step, like as a, how we can synchronize our on-premises Active Directory user to Office 365 portal because you know that in case of real environment if we talk about our real or uh, re, re, real time activity so most of organization establish our on-premises domain controller uh, on any server like it may be a uh, server 2012 2016 or 2019 so uh, it's our responsibility as a system administrator or as a office 365 engineer it's our responsibility we should know about how we can use the same username and password for both location both location in the sense i'm talking about the on-premises uh, client machine and how we can manage the mailboxes by using the same username and password so i'll give you the complete information like as a prerequisite and uh, what are the steps that we need to use to configure um, uh, configure our ad uh, azure ad connect services so let's just start from very basic right and uh, if you're new on my YouTube channel, so please do subscribe Teach Me Cloud because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical just like a online session. So please do subscribe and share with your family and uh, friends and office colleagues as well. So let's talk about the Azure AD concept of Azure AD. For example, this is our Azure portal, not Azure portal, Office 365 portal. Okay. And uh, we also establish our on-premises organizations. This is our on-premises organization where we establish already establish our domain controller, right? Domain. I'm talking about the Active Directory services. This is on-prem, or you can say that base location of our organization. Fine. So talk about the prerequisite, and uh, then we'll discuss about uh, procedure by using our Office 365 portal and on-premises Server 2012 2016 operating system. So if we talk about the prerequisite, so in case of on-premises, first, you know that server operating system is mandatory. Second, AD should be running properly. Third step, you must need to connect it with the minimum 10 Mbps of internet speed. The minimum internet speed required 10 Mbps. And one more important part, you need to download a tool. The tool name is Azure AD Connect, right? So you can say that it's a type of uh, agent. It's a type of agent that can help us to make a communication between each other. So these all are the prerequisite uh, that we need to fill, fulfill in our on-premises. But if we talk about Office 365, so we just need to create one user, uh, one AD user. Uh, as a directory, directory user and must need to make it uh, global administrator just assign the role of global admin right that's it this is the prerequisite i'm going to show you the step how you can achieve this task right and you also need to create few user on on-premises because we are responsible to synchronize the user from on-premises to cloud right for example you created uh, one user with name of aws another user with abc and one more user you created with name of xyz so these three different users we created on on-premises and our agenda to synchronize to Office 365 portal are as you ready. So guys, this is our Office 365 panel and uh, currently we have only one user which is default user and uh, meanwhile you need to open Azure Active Active panel. Just need to click so all. We are able to find one option Azure AD and we just need to open Azure Active Directory and it gives you the complete information related to the uh, users and other services like as a multi-factor authentication and SSPR as well. So this is our Office 365 portal and uh, we need to verify the number of users which is available. So in current situation, we I don't think we have a multi much user. Let me check how many users are available.
Okay, so we have only just we added only one user with name of ABC at the rate something. So I'm just going to create a few user on on premises domain controller on premises active directory machine. So need to take the RDP of our Windows machine because I established I, sta I installed uh, active directory on my base machine which is uh, running on Windows operating system. Let me connect. Fine. So I uh, install I created a one domain controller machine over a uh, server 2016 so this is our on-premises server 2016 and I'm just going to create few user on base machine click tools go to the active directory user and computers and training.com this one is our domain name and we just need to open the users panel and verify how many users are available so currently just a fresh domain controller so I'm going to create two or three different users okay class again need to click create a class user one more user I'm just going to create a, another user with name of uh, anything like as a AWS this is our username next That's it. So we successfully created two, two different user account on on premises and we will synchronize these two different users to our Office 365 portal or Azure Active Directory portal. No need to do anything, just need to back our uh, Azure portal, not Azure portal, Azure Active Directory panel means which is available in, which is associated with Office 365 and we need to create a one user. Although I have already created but I'm just going to remove it and create new as you ready user okay so type the name of your user I'm going to proceed with name of uh, GCP this is our user account account name display name same GCP provide the password and you must need to make it member of global administrator so just need to click on roles users and find your global administrator role right we are able to find global administrator click and select again and proceed to create as we know that whenever we create a user account over office 365 portal you must need to reset because uh, you configure the password as a temporary password so you must need to reset it because we will use the same user uh, to access the users to, uh, to synchronize the users from on premises AP. So need to open our another wizard office.com and try to log in with the help of GCP user that you created. Sign in and provide the user information. Provide default password because you need to uh, change the password. So you must need to change the, uh, the default password or you can say their temporary password and now back to the on-premises AD. This one is our server 2016 operating system and we have already installed the Active Directory services. The domain name is uh, training.com and over a Azure portal, over a Office 365 portal, I think uh, we have only one user. We just created one more user with name of uh, GCP. So our agenda to synchronize our user that we created on on-premises with name of AWS and class. So it's really simple step that you need to use. We will discuss more about it. So I need to create multiple, I think more than one video re related to the Azure Active Directory services. So for now, just try to understand about the concept of uh, Azure AD synchronization. Open Google on your virtual machine. 
and type download as a ready connect download okay so as a ready connect as we know that it's a type of agent that can help us to make a connectivity between our on premises ad to azure portal okay if you are facing issues related to the internet access on your server machine so what you need to do you just need to make a one setting just need to click on local server and here we are able to find enhanced security configuration you must need to turn off it just need to turn off and in open internet explorer again and again type uh, download azure ad connect and you must need to download this particular tool from microsoft site Okay, download Microsoft as you ready connect. Fine, fine, fine. So you should be download from Microsoft site. Uh, let me check. Okay, click here. It's a just, I think, uh, 153 MB of tool. So you can easily download within one or two minutes. We have already created one global administrator account on our uh, Azure Active Directory. So everything is fine. We have a good internet speed. Just need to install it. Download and install. This is welcome wizard to install the Azure AD Connect. Fine, so click on I agree, click continue. Yes, I want to use uh, Express setting. I'll, I'll, I'll guide you. I'll give you the complete information, the options which is available in our Express setting and custom setting. But this is the first day of our Active Directory training. So this is the basic way, means you must need to establish your Active Directory services. Then we'll discuss about the um, some script, some language. No, 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 not language, some script and some command that can help us to manage our AD Connect services. The first option enter your AD global administrator account. So we created a one user with name of uh, GCP at the rate ITB 450 dot on Microsoft.com. So I'm just going to use GCP at the rate of uh, okay 450 dot on Microsoft.com and you need to provide the password. Right. In the first step, you need to provide the password of your uh, Azure Global Administrator user account and second, you need to provide the password of your on-premises domain controller, the Active Directory that you established, training.com. It is in progress. Okay. Fine. Second step, you need to provide the domain name. So our domain name is training.com, right? And our username is administrator. So you just need to type the uh, on-premises active directory username and password. Click next. Now, no need to do anything. We don't have any customized UPN suffix. So I'm just going to use continue without matching UPN. So what is UPN and how we can manage our UPN setting with the 
on premises AD while installation of our Active Directory. We will discuss again it because we need to purchase one domain and associate with our uh, what we can say there associate with our uh, Office 365 portal, right? I'm talking about the custom domain services. Next and click install. It will take maybe three to four minute time. So once our installation completed, we will uh, back to the Azure portal means Azure Active Directory panel and uh, hope so we'll get the entire information about on-premises Active Directory user over a Azure portal as well over a Azure Active Directory portal as well so it will take three or uh, four minute time so I'm just going to pass the video and to save this some time so just need to pause it okay fine so our Azure AD Connect agent successfully installed on on-premises domain controller uh, just need to click here and back to the Azure Active Directory panel and let's see. Fine. So we are on page of Azure Active Directory panel and just need to refresh the page and here we are able to find same user that we created on on-premises AD. AWS and class both are associated with on Microsoft.com because we haven't purchased any kind of a public domain and we haven't configured any kind of a, a custom domain with our Office 365 panel. So uh, I hope you all of you understand about the procedure and prerequisite to establish uh, uh, Azure Ready Connect services. Means how we can synchronize the users from on-premises Active Directory to Azure Active Directory, right? The user that we created with name of AWS and class, and we are able to find both users successfully synchronized to Office 365 panel. Guys, I hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, Azure Ready Connect. Uh, if you have any question or doubt, please let me know. Just drop a comment. Definitely, I'll reach your comment and give you the solution. And guys, please do subscribe your Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye. We'll connect soon with another video. Take care.